I'm Kevin O'Reilly and I manage two children's centres in Faversham. There's a lot of national concern about the low participation rates of dads in children's centres. This film tells the story of how we double participation rates of dads over an 18 month period. We started by consulting dads. We asked them what they liked about being a dad in Faversham and we asked them about their experiences of children's centres. This is what they said. Word in mouth, so it's the, um, the mums groups that told the dads really, so I got to know through my wife. Uh, I found out from a friend, to be honest, Soccer Tots was, uh, I think, uh, Jamie Noonan, a colleague of mine, uh, about a year ago, took his son, found it very, very good, found the area nice, we're in the countryside, and uh, Oliver has been two times now and actually loves it, and it's just nice for a dad and son time just to have a bit of, uh, bit of me time, really. Uh, well, we come up to Faversham every now and then, go and walk around the town. We were in, in, the, in Faversham last weekend for the, for the car show and we saw a, a poster up, so we decided to come over and have a look. Uh, I think, from memory, we've got a leaflet through the post, or my wife gets all the post for the, from the Children's Centre and it was yeah. advertised on there. Um, my wife told me, I think it's from yeah. a leaflet, and I've done some of the other events in the past as well, so yeah. we tend to get more shots for it. Um, and then we get like a uh, sort of a newsletter that comes through telling us about the events. So yeah, I told, they told us it was on. So I think it came last year. There was one last year. Uh, the facilities are good. There's Jubilee Centre and places like this. Uh, activities um, every month or so. So it's good. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. <coughs> Got a swimming pool. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's playing fields. Um, the marketplace area in Faversham, uh, you know, on the Saturdays, which is a good, nice place to walk around. Um, but they're mainly the Jubilee Centre is the um, good one. Yes, it's, it's, it's not too bad actually. Not too bad. Um, we've lived here ever since we had had children. Yeah. Um, we like the indoor play centre. The parks are generally quite good. Um, could be probably maintained a little better. Yeah. But in general, not not, not too bad. Definitely, uh, Fabsham seems to be uh, yeah really good. I know I've got my sisters in um, Ashford. I know they've closed down some of the yeah. uh, short spot stuff. But yeah, we seems here. They um, yeah, it's really good. Um, well, I haven't lived in Fabsham long, but it seems like there's lots to do. So yeah, it's pretty good. No, it's you know, it's really good being dad in Faversham, um, and it's great having all of these type of facilities. Obviously, Faversham's a nice town, um, you know, and there's lots of facilities and things available to do. Uh, it's great. I've got three children, five, three, and uh, one years old. Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, what do you think the facilities like in Faversham? Uh, generally okay. We've got a swimming pool, which is really good for the kids, and uh, the soccer tots here every uh, second week of the month. I think that's really good. It's fine actually, it's a nice town, uh, get the children doing various activities around here, especially the children's centres and, and the parks that are in town. Um, it's very good actually, I enjoy it, it's quite a lot of facilities for children and um, I'm happy with them. Well yeah, I mean that was, the, that was a, a discovery really, that we found that actually there was so much for her to do, it wasn't difficult to get around to things and then being as I became the stay at home dad a year ago now, um, <laughs> found the transition was helped by just by all the provisions that are in Faversham and just feel that it's a quite an accommodating town for families. Uh, we used to Paul, he's just started uh, private swimming lessons which is fantastic, obviously soccer tots, um, he's just got his name down for the Abbey School in Faversham for proper football and um, taekwondo he's just put his name down for as well so um, Yes, he's going to be super fit, and Daddy's hopefully going to try and follow him as well. <laughs> um, yeah, my wife does. I think it's Mary's um, yeah. that she goes to with, with Alice and our youngest as well. Uh, yeah, I use this one for the soccer tops. So, um, on Saturdays, I think it's the third or fourth day of the month. Yeah, we do. We go to uh, the St Mary's one. My wife takes him, and they do a sing along one. Um, we come, yeah, we come to this one for the soccer tops. Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, pretty good. There's lots of parks, uh, lots to do. The swimming pool, 
Um, we come to this place quite a lot with uh, soccer tots and that, so it's good. I like the sports things. Um, somewhere for them to run around really. They just need to burn off a lot of energy and, uh, and um, get themselves tired. Um, to be honest with you, just running around in the open space, the yeah. parks are, are good, I'd say. I just like them maintained a little bit better, perhaps a few more facilities within the park that we've, that we, that we've got. Yeah. Um, and the indoor play again um, is, is good. So like a lot of sporting things maybe? Or? Um, yeah, we, we, um, this is the first time we've been. We didn't come last year and we don't... You can have a look, darling. There you go. Yeah. Um, and, and we haven't been to things like soccer tops. So if I'm honest, I don't really know what, what, what kind of things they do, if, if, if anything. Yeah. I don't, yeah, um, I, 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 uh, I'm a, a web designer and I teach uh, art and design. So yeah. maybe more kind of art, sort of creative sort of stuff, which I think I know. He seems to like when he goes to nursery, he loves painting and drawing yeah. and stuff. So yeah, things like that would be great, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm saying fashion actually is really good for it. I think there should be a few more, but I, I, I'm happy with what the, there is. I think there should be a few more um, like little toddler stuff, little toddler activities. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. I said earlier on that, that it'd be nice to have um, perhaps a little bit more often in the year. Um, certainly, yeah, especially especially for dads, would be would be nice. Well, it should be more centres, like uh, kids centres like this. Um, there's, not, there's not enough of them. There's, you've got a few recreational parks, but they're not maintained particularly well by the by the council and such forth. So they're not brilliant, but uh, it'd be nice if there was more um, more advertising on what dads can do, because dads sometimes do feel inferior to the mums in terms of being creative. Um, so facilities when found are excellent, but it's just sometimes finding them, you know. It was clear that the dads who took part at the fun day at Bisingwood had some great ideas for the development of services and they really enjoyed taking part. We decided that we needed to take those ideas forward and it was suggested that we set up a dads forum, which we did. And this now meets regularly at St Mary's Children's Centre and many of the ideas that the dads suggested have been taken forward and developed by the forum, including first aid courses. The Dad's Forum has been involved in the development of services at both of the Faversham Children's Centres. At Bison Wood Children's Centre, they've helped us to develop the existing Saturday sessions. Whereas previously we had a Charlton Athletic coach coming in, um, they wanted to have more activities there, and we've now got a, an early years practitioner working alongside the Dad's so that they can have enhanced play opportunities at Bison Wood Children's Centre. And the participation rates are really high. At St Mary's Children's Centre, dads have been involved in making the building more dad friendly. An early success has been the development of a mural in the reception area at St Mary's Children's Centre. Dads have worked alongside an artist to make sure that the images of dads are very positive and dads tell us that they really do feel welcomed coming into the centre. Taking all of these things into account, we can say that We've tried really hard to involve dads in our decisions and to make sure that the services we provide are dad friendly. We know that they are because we know that we have doubled our participation rates in the last 18 months. We want to continue involving dads and increasing those participation rates so that the needs of the children and the dads in Faversham can be met.